so delighted, uh, beyond, beyond delighted to be back here um, amongst this extraordinary uh, location. You never, no one ever really headlines Red Rocks. You are co-headlining with this extraordinary monument of a venue you have here tonight. So thank you, first of all, for inviting us back here again and again. We truly love it, and we love you. And, uh, and we love the fact that we're able to come out here with our kind of Bridges Tour family and join one of your most cherished families, the Colorado Symphony Orchestra here. It's fun for us. <laughs> we filled your stage tonight, Red Rocks. Um, I, uh, I wore a new suit for you, so nice. Yeah. Yeah. Stones. This is, that was just like Price is Right just a second ago. That was fun. Um, I traveled from New York to be here. But we had a... Um, New York's in the house tonight. Okay. Welcome, welcome. Um, but we had an... I mean, like, I... Sometimes we don't get a day off uh, in a place. Sometimes you see the world through a hotel window and you're just kind of, you know, experiencing things very, very quickly. We had two days off in Denver and um, it gave us a chance to get over the nosebleeds, which is important if you're a singer. Um, but we also we also had a really good time. Uh, you should check out my Instagram page. We went to a um, we went uh, and we, we ziplined and did obstacle courses yesterday. So if it looks like I'm feeling really like confident on stage tonight, then all of a sudden you see me just kind of going. <laughs> That's why. Um, I'm gonna sing a lot of songs for you tonight, Red Rocks, because it's been a few years since I've been here. I don't ever want to leave the stage tonight. Uh, you may have to pay extra to do that, but that's okay. Uh, and I'm gonna sing a lot of songs, old, new songs, um, stuff that I have rarely done, stuff that I have never done before. Um, I sing a lot of love songs. I feel like love is a really uh, powerful, like good conduit to great art and great music. And especially as a singer, you generally get like, the songs that are on one of two sides of the spectrum of love. You either get like the rainbows and butterflies, you know, honeymoon explosion period, or you just get the everything's gone to shit in a handbasket <laughs> part. Most of the best songs come from this section here. Ask Adele. They're amazing. They are amazing. But. I was fascinated by the kind of the, the middle, the middle section. Uh, my parents have been together, uh, just celebrated their 50th wedding anniversary, which is... Like, what? How do you do, how, how do you do that? Um, and it's, there's something so romantic to sticking it out. You know, anybody, you know, born, uh, you know, in 1981, which I was, was, no, like, I, I, well, yeah, 80s babies in the house. <laughs> <laughs> but then like we found like the dawn of the internet and everything became like swiping and very very quick and digital um, my parents like met because like her neighbor was a friend of my dad's which is such an incredible thing anybody here celebrating like 30 years and beyond seriously wow front row 40 anybody want to beat my parents with 51 <laughs> seriously man oh good for you Welcome to Red Rocks, that's awesome. Cool. How many, what? 58? 58 and a quarter, 58 and 59. You know, whoever gets to 70 will both get a free yogurt from me, and uh, we'll have to fight my parents to the death, so be careful what you wish for. Um, well, that's really, really cool. Um, as somebody who travels a lot, I know how hard it can be to just stay connected with the person that you love. And um, my parents, when my brother and I asked them, like, how, what's your secret to, to having stuck it out? They just said, you know, don't sweat the small stuff, laugh at everything you can possibly laugh at, and when you get through the crappy stuff, it makes the good stuff that much better. And I'm like, oh, there's so much, there's romance in that, there's good stuff in that. 
And sometimes, you know, a song can mean a lot, you know, and sometimes music can mean a lot in reconnecting with somebody that you love very much, um, as, as my wonderful girlfriend who's here tonight knows. Um, and uh, this, song, this song is kind of like um, a song that's about not having a full symphony to express yourself, but we have a full symphony tonight, so screw it, we're going to do it anyway. Um, and uh, this is called, fittingly, Symphony. <laughs> 